Hello, this is Marmazir and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War. So, let's continue where we left off and scan for some activity. The auto laser repairs are almost done. Medium EFO. And it's scanning for satellites, isn't it? Yep. Well, it might be time to use that laser cannon then. I would prefer to not go on aggressive because I'll probably take tons of damage from this. This is probably a destroyer. So yeah, I'll take tons of damage from that. We're in pursuit. I might not even be able to do enough damage to make it go away. I don't think so. Well, let's find out. That was pretty decent damage so far. But yeah, it does tons of damage to my interceptor. There, was that enough damage? It might have been. Possibly. Alright, we'll find out. Really? Come on now, Raider. Great. I don't think I can do anything about that. Let's try to send one interceptor. Come here. I'll try to hit it and then just abort. Okay, that's one hit, not bad. Two hits, abort. It's not like I can shoot it down, that's not going to happen. Not without more laser cannons. So, scan. What's going on? That was a little bit strange. Really? Wait, that's an abductor, isn't it? Yep, that looks like an abductor. No, that's a landing site. Yeah, I'm not doing a landing site. That's a transport. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that. I suppose I could bring a pretty decent squad, but still. I don't think that's a good idea. No. Let's keep this. As tempting as it is, I'm not doing that. Well, the UFO is gone, so there's that. Raider analysis is done. As for research... 27 days to research Elerium, that's a bit too much. Let's go for Xeno Neurology. Or I could do some autopsies. I can't do Mutant Autopsy just yet, I don't have enough corpses. Only 3 days to do John Autopsy. Alright, let's do that really quick. Won't take long. Small scout. I can try to shoot that down. Let's go on aggressive. See if we can get a crash site. Come here. Alright. We need to get lucky here. Come on, one more hit. Nice one, destroyed. That's fine. We got some money out of that. That's 117. And we're about to get some new soldiers. Hopefully soldiers with more than 3 hit points, that would be great. There, let's find out. So, more than 3 hit points, please. 4 hit points, yep, they all have 4. Decent stats, too. The well is a bit on the low side, but good mobility, decent aim, and 4 hit points, these are good. Alright, yeah, I'm happy with that. Satellites are done, let's just launch them right away, there's no need to wait. So, let's finish Asia, I suppose. So, like that, and in China, done. Now we can check our bonuses, like this. These are our current bonuses. And let's keep scanning. The autopsy is done. Oh yeah, that unlocks the holo targeter and field repairs. I don't really need that at the moment. So, seeker autopsy or continue with the research? Let's continue with xeno neurology. I should build alien life. containment sometime soon. That will require 200. Pretty expensive. Aliens, Maybe excavate some of this. Alright then. Well, what can we do? I still need one more laser cannon. Yeah. That's 131. Can we get started already? I would have to sell a few things. Some corpses. Like this. I'm not selling alloys, that would be silly. We can sell some seeker wrecks. That's enough. And I could make some tracking boosters. That sounds like a good idea. 
two tracking boosters like this and laser cannon that's going to be the last laser cannon for now there i'm glad i'm done with that alien metallurgy oh yeah nice that's for alloys there's the laser cannon let's see you're going to use that i suppose laser cannon done okay keep scanning we got the alloy plating almost is that an abductor yep abductions light alien activity all right let's do it i could bring some less experienced soldiers again i suppose but i will bring some firepower as well what was this promotion extra conditioning suppression and flush oh yeah this was a pretty tough choice i like all three flush can be pretty good but same goes for suppression let's pick up suppression i don't have a lot of soldiers with suppression hmm i don't know it's a tough choice is he one of my highest will soldiers right now because if so it might make sense to pick up extra conditioning 47 well 51 on the medic he has decent well hmm yeah that's a really tough choice i'll need to think about that let's just bring some other soldiers here so who's coming can we bring an officer yes we can bring an officer we'll need a scout let's see we have quite a lot of specialists i could bring one of my new rookies which one 68 aim yeah let's go for the highest aim but just one rookie for this mission i won't be going overboard with that i'll bring a medic we can bring a few specialists why not sniper let's bring this guy okay that's medic gunner and sniper who else some infantry would be nice this guy yeah this will be a training mission it should be a pretty easy mission with light alien activity just need to bring enough firepower in case i'll have to deal with a lot of mutants and things like that i should have both my gunner weapons available or is the gatling gun in repairs no it's not everything is repaired right back to the mission then so i can bring two gunners 12 mobility what's the highest mobility gunner oh yeah this guy 14 mobility gunner that's pretty good okay he can use the auto laser i suppose and hannah can use the gatling laser we can bring one more person what about an assault that would be great lance corporal assault who has better stats this guy has 40 well 13 mobility hmm and slightly higher health yeah i prefer this guy so that's our squad i should have laser weapons for almost everyone yeah i'm pretty sure i'll have laser weapons for everyone no need for that ceramic plating what about a smoke grenade just in case we'll need one that's nine hit points looks good enough also sprinter yeah this guy is insane that's 16 mobility okay next up our infantry does heavy laser rifle scope no changes here his mobility will be a little bit low but i like this setup next up the sniper laser sniper rifle that's 83 aim you don't need a med kit not really okay looks good oh yeah he has dead eye too that's nice against floaters and such carbine and maybe laser sight need to get at least one kill on this guy otherwise he probably won't get a promotion so gatling laser for you where's the gatling laser it should be available where is it 
Carbine Shatter Ray. Auto Laser. Okay, that's strange. Is the other gunner using the Gatling Laser? Oh yeah, he has it equipped. Right, Auto Laser for you because you have much better mobility. And Hannah can use the Gatling Laser. So, how many scopes do I still have? Two scopes. Who's going to use them? Good question. I also have alloy plating. Might not be a bad idea to use that on the assault. Yeah. Okay, so back to the scopes. Hannah can use one scope. So let's do that. Do I have some battle scanners here? I don't think so. No, I don't think I have any battle scanners. I don't. And yes, this is a squad without a scout. Which should be fine. I could replace the rookie, but I want to get a promotion for him. Or I could replace one of the gunners. Or I could not bring a medic. I probably don't need a medic for this. Yeah. Okay, no medic. Let's see. Alloy plating? No, alloy plating is not done yet. Never mind. So, laser strike rifle. Where is it? There it is. And a scope for him. Looks good. Is there one more scope? No, I don't think so. I used all of them. Yep, wait, I do have alloy plating. I replace the scope with alloy plating. He only has 5 hit points, that's so bad. Yeah, he can live without a scope. I can give the scope to someone else, like the sniper. There. That's better. I think we're ready. Just checking. All scopes are used. That's ceramic plating. I only have one alloy plating right now, so he will have to keep that. Yep, alright, he will keep that. Or I could give ceramic plating to Takeshi and then alloy plating to the gunner. Or battle scanner. I don't think I brought any battle scanners. No, no one has the actual perk. Alright, so alloy plating for you. There, that's better. Now we're ready. Let's go then. And see what kinds of aliens we'll get. Oh, this the map, the construction base. site. That's a very small map. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempts. I don't any really mind in case we'll of to move quickly if we want to slow missions without a lot of aliens. This is being Sky. Strike team is so here we are. We started on the other side of the map, which I actually prefer. Strike one is cleared to engage. Let's get our sniper positioned first. And you steady weapon. Now, I probably don't want to trigger anything on the first turn. Oh yeah, I do have battle scanners on Hana, right. I keep forgetting she has the battle scanner perk. Let's throw one then, we have three battle scanners in here. Might as well use them. We've got eyes on the AO. See if there are any aliens over there. Probably, yep. Seekers. Just a full seeker group? Yep, that looks like a full seeker group, that's fine. That might be a patrol, so there's a good chance they will run into us. Or float. Let's set up. Hmm. If I move here, will that trigger them? It might. So let's not do that. But I want to position somewhere useful. There. This guy. Yeah, let's just play it safe and stay back here. And that's going to be Overwatch. One more person. You can stay here. And steady weapon. So, Overwatch on everyone else. Are they moving? No? No, they are not moving. But we got another group. Two Seekers and one Thin Man. Okay, can we take a shot with the Sniper? Yes, we can take a shot. 100%. If we get a crit, that's going to be a kill. It will trigger the group, but I'm okay with that. 
There. That was a kill, even without a crit. So that will activate the other two Seekers and the other group. That's four Seekers and one Thin Man. Oh, are we flanking that Thin Man right now? Well, no, because I can't actually reach him. Hmm. If I move Eduardo, will I be able to reach that Thin Man? No, probably not. Let's just take a shot. Because I have steady weapon. So let's put that to good use. That's a kill. Very nice. Any other kills we can get? No. Not really. Alright, fine. That's going to be Overwatch then. Overwatch. Overwatch. Maybe a smoke grenade? A smoke grenade wouldn't be a bad idea with that Thin Man activated. Yeah, let's just use a smoke grenade. It's not like I'll use it for anything else. That's only plus 20 defense, but plus 20 defense is still useful. Okay, move over here. Overwatch. And Overwatch. We should kill at least one Seeker with reaction shots, unless we miss terribly. Which is always a possibility. That Thin Man might try to shoot someone. Or we will kill the Thin Man. No. Never mind. Will he trigger any more reaction shots? No, he will not. But he can't shoot anyone either. So we are mostly fine. The Seekers are actually shooting us. Alright. Come on, kill it. Go. Nice. So there's one more Seeker and one Thin Man right now. There's the Seeker. And it's not even stealth. Oh, one more reaction shot, right, from the Rookie. Missed. I still need one kill for the Rookie. We'll try to do that. So, I can try to kill that Seeker. But I need to do some damage first. Let's do it. With this guy. There. Now I just need to hit. Come on, dude. That's your promotion over there. 84%? I can just move up to it and then take a shot. But there's still that Thin Man. I wouldn't want to get flanked. Hmm. Yeah, it would be safer to just take a shot from here. But 84% is... Very good, I would say. Let's take that shot. That's a kill. I just want to play it safe with the Thin Man. I wouldn't want my rookie to get flanked and then killed by the Thin Man. That would be bad. Now, let's deal with that Thin Man, if possible. He should come to us. I would like to get the melt, but let's play it safe. I know he's on Overwatch. There he is. This might even be a kill. That's a lot of reaction shots. 7 damage. We need one more hit. Will he trigger any more reaction shots? Yes, he will. Come on. Kill him. No, this will be a miss, I think. Yep, that's a miss. Oh well. He's down to two hit points. I could try to get yet another kill for the rookie, or our sniper will finish the job. Nice, he will finish the job. So, we already killed two groups. There's just one more group remaining. Pretty good mission so far. The meld is still out there. Let's try to get it. But first, reload everything. We can move while we do it. Let's see... Dash? I don't know where the last group is, so I'd pref I would prefer to not dash. But on the other hand, I want that meld. So maybe I should. Okay, screw it, let's dash. I want the meld. This guy has 9 hit points anyway, and he will be in full cover. We didn't trigger anything, that's good. Keep moving and reload. I still got one battle scanner, I got two battle scanners actually. You can go here, reload. Our sniper needs to move because he won't have line of sight from here, probably. Reload. And one more person. Reload. Done. So, where's that group? And what's that group? Oh, there's one more Seeker, right. Okay, fine. We'll kill it. Take a shot from here. And that's a kill already. One shot. Very nice. Let's keep moving then. 
Now, reposition a bit more and use steady weapon from back here. Looks good. I could move someone up here, that's not a bad idea actually. That might be useful. Let's go. Come on guys, chop chop. The aliens are waiting. What about that battle scanner? Let's just throw a battle scanner to see what's going on. If there's a group over here, we'll see it with that battle scanner. So go. I'm guessing it's there. It might be in this corner too. No, it's not there. Alright. It might be here still, but... We'll find out. Let's keep moving. Right, this guy can't move a whole lot on this turn. He could still throw a battle scanner, but with very limited range. Overwatch. Move and reload. So, reload. And that's done. Oh, there they are. Thin men. Only two thin men? Okay. Where's that meld exactly? I can't actually see it. I think it's here. Okay, then. So, let's go get the thin men. Can we take a shot with anyone? No, I don't think so. Not on this turn. Alright. Throw a battle scanner. Actually, yeah, I can take a shot with the battle scanner. Or are they hidden? No, they are hidden. I won't have line of sight. There's the meld. Okay. We won't do any damage on this turn. Keep using steady weapon. As for you, just move closer. Like so. Move into better position. Into nice full cover. I still got a smoke grenade. Just use it, I think. Yeah, it's not like I'll use it for anything else. This mission is almost done. And Thinmen have pretty high aim. They tend to be pretty good at hitting things in full cover. There they are. Some reaction shots? Nope. Yes, you did. Okay. I should have a line of sight with the sniper. Might want to destroy his cover first, if possible. No, I don't think that's going to be possible. Take a shot with this dude. He doesn't have any other targets anyway. Missed. Fine. So, back to the sniper. Hana can actually take a shot, too. Let's do that. Nope. Missed. Sniper to the rescue. 27% chance to hit. Nice one. That was almost a kill, but not quite. Overwatch. Can we get a kill? Probably not. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't get a kill. Unless I take a shot from here and hit. 45% only. Well, nope, missed. We tried. Okay, hunker down. Overwatch. I still want the meld. Can we kill him? Nice one. Okay, one more thin man. The fastest way to get that meld now is to just kill the last thin man. That should be the last alien on the map now. Can we hit? Nope. I think that was the only reaction shot we'll get now. Okay, hi. I think he's confused. This should be an easy kill. In fact, I can just shoot him in the face. Like this. Stay in cover still? No, there's no way there are any other aliens on the map. Let's just get a kill. Bye. We're done. Another one down. Eight aliens. How much meld is that going to be? Let's find out. A lot of promotions. Awesome. So, this guy. He can be infantry or assault. I don't have a lot of infantry. And his stats are pretty good for infantry. So I think that's an obvious choice here. Next up, Eduardo. Sprinter, low profile, vital point targeting. That's a tough choice. 
Low profile is nice, but so is Sprinter. His mobility is already good, but he could have amazing mobility with Sprinter. But low profile would also be very useful on him. I don't know, this is a tough choice. Okay, let's check the other soldiers. Hit warheads, that's not very useful. Wow, these are pretty terrible choices. Tandem warheads are completely worthless on infantry. Hit warheads are also mostly worthless. So that's going to be ranger. Okay, ranger, fine. At least that's a little bit of extra damage. Platform stability, aggression, low profile. Okay. Platform stability would be quite nice on a gunner. I might go for that. Plus 10 aim and plus 10% critical chance. If I take a shot before any costly actions. Which I have to do anyway if I'm using Gatling lasers. Hmm. Low profile is also good though. And aggression is nice as well. There are so many tough choices with training roulette. Okay, let's check. Oh, okay. Resilience. That's an easy choice at least, especially for an assault. That's a no-brainer. Resilience. So these two guys. I don't know. Sprinter, low profile. I'd like to get low profile for this guy, but... I really like Sprinter. Hmm. And this one? Aggression, low profile, platform stability. I'm leaning towards platform stability. But he's probably going to be the auto laser kind of gunner because he has good mobility. Which is why I'm having some dubs. Aggression would be really good on him if he's going to use the auto laser. And low profile is always good. Yeah, these are really tough choices, I have to say. What did we get? 15 meld. 5 Valerium, 12 Alloys, not bad. And 80 credits, alright. So, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.